And now, live in studio, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Yes, here we are again another day committed to picking a fight with the mainstream media and providing you the timely truth centered around real estate, business, finance, estate plans, tax plans, so much more. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback Show. Our number one goals are to educate, entertain, enlighten, and we want to engage you in an effort to help you win. The only thing I'm addicted to right now is winning. Save our hotline number in your phone. At some point, you're going to need it. 813-670-7372. You used to call me on my cell phone. 813-670-7372. Don't forget our number. Bookmark our website, ConsumerQB.com. A plethora of information available for you on our website at ConsumerQB.com. You can submit a form. There's an email form that comes directly through to my team. Uh, you can also connect. Click the uh, Show Contributors Connection line, and you can see links to all of our expert contributors there. 80-plus show partners, CPAs, financial advisors, several different types of attorneys, all types of folks that are consumer advocates. We want to help you win no matter what you're facing out there. And we've got Intelligent Talk Radio. I've got some intelligent folks here in studio with me today back in studio my friend matt demayo z maestro back in the house happy to be here brandon yes sir yeah man what you been up to what are we gonna talk about today i've got some great stuff you know uh kids are coming up to final exams in the public school system and uh even colleges right now getting ready for finals yeah and so i've been publishing a brand new series on my youtube channel be smarter faster about test taking tactics straight A strategies that give you the ability to skyrocket your score on any type of test. That's well needed. People it, want that. People like that. It is. So yeah. I'm hoping to talk about that. Also, I just helped my 17-year-old daughter launch her first rock band. Nice. Tomorrow's News. Very cool. I like that. So tomorrow's, tomorrow's News. Dot band. Nice. Okay. They're playing the Brass Mug on May 18th. Sweet. Must be proud dad. Indeed. I like it. Good stuff. Also, my friend Jason Avery in the house as well. Avery Construction, welcome in. Hey, man. I'm glad to be back. It seems like it's been a short minute since I was here. Yeah, man. Yeah, I took a little hiatus out to uh, Guam to visit some family and meet my cool. uh, brand new nephew. That's and, awesome. Uh, I understand while I was gone, you got hitched. Yeah, that's right. Ladies, that's right. oh my goodness, the quarterback is off the market. It's a sad day, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Man, broke a lot of hearts <laughs> that day. They did. They were <laughs> weeping all over. <laughs> Just kidding there. But yeah, so uh, Jason, yeah, man, one of the longest running contributors on the show too, man. Almost four years or over four ha years, maybe. Happy to be here, man. What yep. a great alliance this is, uh, the quarterback yep. show and our company. We've come a long way together. We've both grown uh, quite a bit since we that's first right. started, right? Yeah, man. It's uh, yeah, great day, uh, great week for us uh, at Avery Construction. We... Uh, uh, got some unsolicited and unexpected news. Um, uh, yesterday, a, uh, a article was featured in Home Builders Digest, where they named the top 15 kitchen remodeling contractors in the Tampa Bay area. My company has made the list, and they've ranked us as number three in their eyes. Number, nice. I think I'm number one, but yeah. we'll we'll work our way up and uh, prove ourselves to them, too. Yeah. Either way, happy to be recognized. A little free publicity is never a bad thing. Hey, that's really cool, man. Understand. It's great to have those accolades being recognized. It's uh, it's always friendly. It's it's a nice call to get that call from an editor or publisher, someone saying, "Hey, we're selecting you to, you know, for this magazine, the Realtor magazine." Uh, it, it's always good because your hard work sometimes, you know, you have good clients, you have bad clients. You know, it's just a numbers game out there, right? You know, I deal with it. You know, every month there's you get these certain calls. No matter what you do, you can't make them happy, and it's your fault. <laughs> so, you know, I've, I've got I've got such a great team over at Avery Construction. And they manage about 85 projects a year, and I'm proud to say that uh, there's only maybe two or three instances an entire year where I actually have to get involved and, and right. come up with some form of compromise in order to, you know, uh, end somebody on a on a final note that they're happy and you yeah. know, satisfied. But uh, yep. yeah, at, at least uh, you know, 83, 84 of those projects every year just go off without a hitch, nice and nice. smooth. And that's all about process. It's all about procedure. You know. Just knowing how to dot your I's and cross your T's and all to get through construction. 
That's right. Yeah, it says a lot about your team, your business, and the, the flow of your, your model as well. Plus, you have uh, the book out there, Constructing Success, a number one seller, uh, doing well still. Absolutely, it is. It, uh, it continues to sell copies, um, and uh, that actually turned itself into a whole nother, uh, whole nother business. And uh, I'm uh, spending more and more of my time at Constructing Success, now coaching the other contractors in this area, the younger guys that are just starting out. They've got, you know, three or four employees, and uh, maybe they're, you know, not quite confident in their pricing ability yet or how to not have to recreate the estimate every single time from scratch so many of these guys go out there and uh, uh, let me bring all my subcontractors to the site and find out how much they're going to charge and then i'll tell you your price yeah well you know we, we've spent years collecting the data controlling the numbers with our subs so we know what it's going to cost without having to get that extra input we're going to price a job give immediate information instant gratification to somebody yeah. and that we know is very accurate and now we're going to hold our 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 people and our subcontractors to a, a price point that we already know is competitive we're going to give them a budget and say this is what the job pays take yeah. it or leave it if you don't want it i've got three more people in line that would prefer that take that work yeah and uh, but uh, again one of those other big advantages is having you know a, a team of 40 employees you know uh, we've built up over the years it uh, gives us a lot more control over timelines over quality you know mm -hmm. making things happen we don't have to rely on subs for so much of what we do yeah yeah that's awesome man i, I want to talk to you about labor i want to talk about supply i want to talk about some of those things as well later in the show absolutely i want to give a shout out now to brio tuscan grill the official restaurant partner of the consumer quarterback show is brio tuscan grill at the international plaza and they're right at the mall they're right inside the mall uh, brio tuscan grill right outside the mall actually and it, it's a great place to go hang out they got awesome food uh, they've got a great wait staff very friendly wait staff excellent excellent food and they're offering something special right now to the listeners and our fans of the consumer quarterback show could be on social media you just mentioned that you saw or heard the consumer quarterback show and uh, the brio tuscan grill is our restaurant partner they're going to hook you up with a free appetizer they've got awesome food calamari they've got the spicy shrimp with eggplant is Excellent. And let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. And they're going to hook you up over at Brio Tuscan Grill. A couple of hot listings here. I'm, I'm the host of the show, Brandon Rimes, as you know, but I'm also the owner of Platinum MVP Realty and a top listing agent here in Tampa Bay. Looking for my million dollar buyers. Where are my million dollar players at? Looking for the old Northeast section in St. Pete, 215 12th Avenue Northeast in St. Petersburg. Uh, four bedrooms, five bath, over uh, 3,700 square feet, $1.4 million. Now, this is a unique construction design. Maybe we'll talk about this later a little bit, Jason. This is a SIPS panel house built with complete SIPS panels. Helps with your wind rating. It helps being more uh, fire retardant. Uh, and it's just a superior in a lot of people's minds in terms of the building construction style. 215 12th Avenue Northeast in St. Pete. And looking for my million dollar players over in Tampa Bay as well. West Chase area. Uh, this is just outside of West Chase. 9825 Wilski Boulevard. Four bedrooms, three full bath, two half bath. This is a beautiful property it is perfect for entertaining contemporary style and you'll find it right on a waterfront lake here in tampa bay 1.5 million dollars uh, 5500 square feet very private and it's a great place here in tampa bay to be investing and buying in real estate all right let's jump right into it let's go uh, over here with matt demayo back in the house test taking tactics right. right now it's that time of year everybody's cramming even you know even professionals there's a lot of people taking real estate exams appraiser exams i'm glad you brought that up because this is not just for school kids there's people that are taking the mcats they're taking the lsats they're studying for the series six and seven the real estate and life insurance exams and what i've done is i've put together a series of tactics that you can literally improve your score without knowing any more than you do right now. And the first video actually teaches five different tactics, and I call it skyrocket your score without knowing more. I'll tell you one of, uh, one of those tactics in just a second. The second video really gets into overcoming the biggest problem that anybody who takes a test has to face, and that's stress. So I teach three different mental power tools that give you the ability to improve your self-confidence, reduce your stress level, mm. and this one's really cool, free up that mental log jam. Sometimes a person is in the middle of an exam, they know the answer, it's rattling around on the inside of their head, and they can't quite get it to come to them at the moment. Right. And I teach a, a, a tactic that is so simple 
that it, it's almost silly when I tell you what it is. What most people say when they can't think of an answer is, oh, I, I, I forget. I can't yeah. remember. Yeah. That's absolutely the worst or thing I'll in the think world. Of it. I'll think of it in a minute. And that's what you want to say. What right. you do want to say to yourself is, yeah. it will come to me in a moment. Yeah. And then take a deep breath, relax, and have confidence that it'll pop into your head. Now, saying it'll come to me in a moment really is a very remarkable approach to doing this. And mm -hmm. people ask me how it works. And I tell them, it works great. That's how it works. It, it's almost like magic. You know, here in the studio, you've got some fluorescent tubes. Mm -hmm. I don't really understand how fluorescent tubes light up. In science class, they told me when I hit the switch, it closes the circuit and the electrons flow through the copper wire and, yeah. and it goes into the glass tubes and it excites the gas. Yeah. It excites the gas? <laughs> what the heck does that mean? Yeah. I don't know, <clears throat> but I don't need to know. All I know is I hit the switch, the light goes on. When you say simple things to yourself and you use some of these tactics, they work like that. You don't need to understand them. They just work. For example, a tactic that you can use to improve your score without knowing any more than you do right now is where you study for the test. Mm. Now, we've got some folks here in the studio today. You know, people think, well, maybe the library, maybe your dorm room, maybe the park. You know the very, very best place in the world you can possibly study for a test? Where's the that? The room where you're going to take the test. Ah, okay. And just doing that will improve your score. And it doesn't matter whether you believe it or not. This is going to happen. Yeah. And as a quarterback, you remember the home field advantage. Yes. It's a real thing. That's right. Every actor knows about the value of dress rehearsal. You're going to be in the room, on the same stage, in the same clothes. Yep. And there, it does something psych psychologically. It does something to your subconscious to be able to help you focus in on things. One less thing to worry about, that's for sure. Absolutely. All right, so when we come back, more test-taking tactics and other strategies to improve your performance. Uh, we're also going to bring in Jason Avery, Avery Construction, back into the conversation, have some real estate talk as well. And our Feel Good Story of the Week coming up as well. We're going to talk to you about an interesting story. Uh, you got a really cool story about a dog, an adopted dog that saves a family from fire. Stay with us. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, everybody. I'm Forbes Riley, celebrity TV fitness host and creator of The Spin Gym. I'm here today with Brandon Rimes, and you're listening to The Consumer Quarterback Show. Great ways to get happy, healthy, and wealthy. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at consumerqb.com house or com
You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, Platinum MVP Realty. Looking for real estate agents right now. We're looking for more agents to bring on to our team. And we've got a plethora of leads, lots of leads coming in. And we need help making the calls, following up with the leads, taking apps, basically working deals. And uh, PlatinumMVPRealty.com. Check out PlatinumMVPRealty.com. Giving a shout out to Mary Maids, our official cleaning partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show is Mary Maids. Relax, it's done. They do a great job cleaning our real estate properties. Satisfaction guaranteed by Mary Maids Cleaning Service. And they are the recipients of the 2016 Women's Choice Award, America's Most Recommended Cleaning Services is Mary Maids. Give them a call. Let them know Real Estate Quarterback sent you for special incentives. They're going to take good care of you over there. And check out our book on Amazon, Become the MVP in Your Industry by Surfing the Radio Waves. Check it out on Amazon and Become the MVP in Your Industry. A uh, real cool part two of that book where we partnered up with Ken Shamrock, UFC legend. He's our business partner now. And uh, Des Woodruff as well, a serial entrepreneur. And we are uh, looking to take that into the market. It's kind of a really cool project we're working on. So uh, more on that to come. In studio today, Matt DeMaio, Z Maestro in the house. Jason Avery, Avery Construction, and author of Constructing Success as well. All right, so let's go uh, back to Matt. So, Matt, we were uh, where were we at there? We were talking about some of the strategies. Right. We're talking about uh, just a couple of quick ideas about how you can perform better on a test even without studying anymore. And so I've got three now episodes already up on my YouTube channel, Be Smarter Faster. But in addition to that, I've got a nine-part series called Instant Concentration, how to focus your mind in a world of information overload. You know, we live in a world where things are coming at us faster than ever before, constant new stuff, and school, for the most part, really never prepared people to give them the tools on how to learn things. They're really good at telling you what to learn, not so good at telling you how to learn it. And think about this. You know, you can remember back when mom or the teacher would wag their finger at you and say, pay attention. Yeah. And did anybody ever take a single class in how to pay attention or how to focus? Right. As if there's nothing to teach. And so I really get into a lot of the details about how do you bring your mind to the present moment? How do you overcome log jams when you've got information that you know is there? Uh, how are you able to get to the bottom of the page and actually remember what you just read right. instead of zoning out on things? Mm -hmm. So I really get into a lot of these details. And you mentioned your book on Amazon. I actually have two books on Amazon, uh, somebody that is into uh, Kindle and looking at the electronic books on Amazon if they look up how to remember people's names. Mm -hmm. right. By the I've way, take a that. wild guess as to what that's about. <laughs> how to remember people's names. Care, number one was care. Well, exactly. Right. Well, you got to get it, you got to care, and you got to believe, believe, right? The yeah. Three causes of forgettery. So, yep. how to remember people's names on Amazon and forgetful no more. And that helps people overcome. You put down your keys, your wallet, your eyeglasses, and later on you have to ransack your house trying to find stuff that you that that you, that you left. You're playing treasure hunt with yourself. Yeah. And all about how to overcome absent-mindedness which in our society today seems to be a bigger and bigger problem. Yes, it really does. You, you're, you know, we're, we're running around, we're posting on Instagram, Facebook, we're driving and, and we're doing some of these tasks. Sometimes there's, you know, there's all types of different areas that are, you're being pulled in a lot of different ways, as you mentioned. So, so what the one that you said before of bring, keep, how to keep yourself into the present moment, what's, what's a little hack there? Well, you actually have the ability to talk to yourself mm -hmm. and you give yourself instructions as to what to do. And when you really stop to think about it, who is the self you're talking to? Mm -hmm. You know, I often talk about you have a mind, but you are not your mind. Your mind is a mechanism. Mm -hmm. And so literally what I do is I give you verbal commands mm -hmm. that you can just say out loud, especially if you're looking in a mirror. This mm -hmm. works really well. Right. You know, uh, William Shakespeare said that the eyes are the mirrors to the soul. Right. Well, you know that here, you and I in the studio, we're communicating, we're looking at each other in the eye. Yeah. 
and it improves communication. Right. But you can do that with yourself too. Yeah. So what I do is I give you specific little phrases that you can say mm -hmm. while you're staring at your own eyes in the mirror. And I know for some people it sounds a little odd, but that's okay. Yeah. It works like magic yeah exactly that's it's like incantations you're you're talking to yourself you're programming your subconscious mind you're pro, pro uh, programming the reticular activation system in the brain that's exactly what it is yeah. you remember when you were in the locker room before a big game yeah and the self-talk that you would have right the ones that are talking themselves down are the ones that are doing poorly on the field right the ones that really have the right kind of internal dialogue are the ones that are the winners on the field. Sure. Did you ever have that experience? Oh, absolutely. I remember even back in Pop Warner football, my dad was our coach, and he would have us sit down, and he said, I'd want everybody quiet, and I want you to think about every play. What are you going to, who do you block? What are your progressions? Who, where do you go? You know, go through the whole playbook. So, you know, even at a young age, he was doing some of these types of strategies uh, without really knowing what he was doing in terms of scientific, you know, the, oh, now we're going to program our reticular activation system, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. You know, some of these things come to you naturally. And a lot of people stumble on these ideas. They seem so simple. They stumble on them accidentally. Yeah. And simply what I've done is I've collected them all into one place at one time and teach them in a really focused, concentrated dose. And when you have a whole lot of them all at once, it's synergy. The whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Individually, they're all really little ideas. Mm -hmm. Together, you become superhuman. You become super powerful. Yeah, I like that. You, you couple that with... You know the the work ethic. You know that's I think that goes back to you know having work ethic to do it, to sit down and do it. I, you know we talk about uh, being some of the greatest times to live, be alive as a human being. Uh, by the way, if you just joined us, I'm your host Brandon Rhymes. We're talking with Matt DeMaio, Z Maestro in the house, Jason Avery as well here uh, in studio. Jay and Brandon, I'm just thinking to myself. You know, I, I never had a problem with the internal messages. I can I talk myself up. I tell myself I can do it. I genuinely believe that I can accomplish whatever I want to accomplish. But man, I want to use some of his skills to reprogram the people around me because sometimes yeah. you get mm -hmm. the, the I, it comes from all directions. You get those people to tell you, you can't do that, Jason. That'll never work. Negative. You Nancy's. can't make it happen. And yep. and, and, and and you know the non-believers. Yep. And I'll tell you what, if I had listened to those people along the way, I wouldn't have you know a tenth of what I have today. Yeah. Um, but uh, but Jason, I'm so glad to hear you say that because actually companies will bring me in to work with their people. Yeah. And this is all about uh, not just reprogramming yourself, but really getting yourself on the right track. And some of this stuff is just so simple and it works so fast that I hear this over and over again. Why didn't anybody ever show me this before? Right. One, right. one last quick story. Yeah. The other day, uh, two days ago, my phone rang early in the morning and it was a woman from London, England on the phone that I had never met. Okay who as a, a like did detective work online to track me down she liked my videos on youtube so much that she was calling me a genius and I, I, all of this thing she tracked me down and called me from england nice. just to have an opportunity to have a personal conversation that's awesome. nothing i do is genius yeah it is all little things put together and right. jason just like you in building one brick by itself is nothing Put enough of them together, you can build a masterpiece. Yeah, constructing Absolutely. constructing success. You know, this this is the same idea. You're putting together small uh, little strategies, small hacks, if you will. You know, you're combining that with work ethic. You're 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 waking up an extra hour early. People complain about not having enough money, but then they they want to wake up at seven, seven thirty, eight o'clock instead of you know, hey, if you really are committed. What's going on at 5.30? What are, you, what are you doing around that hour, right? I can't find time. Or they knock off work at, at 5 o'clock. They go you know, go to the gym or whatever they're going to do. That's great. Get your workout in. But you still have that time. You have from 7 to 11 to knock out some work too. You know, so they're, being being poor or being in that mentality where you, you don't have enough, you want more, uh, it, it's really your own fault these days. There's so many opportunities. If you can access the Internet, you can access podcasts, you can access YouTube, there's, there's audio books on demand. You can learn a new tr skill. You can skill up. I think that's the key is adding additional skills to your, uh, your repertoire. You know, the more utility in these skills that you have, the more it's going to add value to your customers or potential potentially to your boss, your managers, your owner. And by adding those skills, you're going to increase the value that you have to the marketplace. It's real simple, you know, just by doing small things. You make some great points. 
You know, uh, uh, my daughter uh, is 17. She's a junior over at Plant High School. And she has been the recipient of a lot of these techniques that I've taught since she's been a little, little girl old enough to talk. Yeah. She doesn't know what it's like to get a B in a course. Straight A student. Wow. But she's vice president of all these different clubs. Yeah. She's been the drum major on the marching band and now she's fronting her own rock band that's awesome, tomorrow's man. news imagine having you as a dad with all those techniques and the little that's awesome stay with I'm us blessed. here more from our expert contributors when we come back our feel good story of the week as well uh we got a great story here where the adopted dog saves family from fire consumer quarterback show consumerqb.com this is work done and you're listening to the real estate quarterback show hosted by my man brandon rhymes to get in touch with brandon call 813-670-7372 online at consumerqb.com I'm Jerry from Hot Locks Hair Salon. We are conveniently located at 13414 US Highway 19 in Hudson. I've been a local hairstylist in our community for the last 34 years, seven of which I was an educator. Our passion is the artistry of hair and Hot Locks is here to help you achieve your perfect image. You can call us at 727-514-9978. to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-670-7372. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with us. Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, Platinum MVP Realty, and a top listing agent here in Tampa Bay, helping you win in any marketplace. That is the goal of our show. ConsumerQB.com is your resource. We want you going to ConsumerQB.com. You can see links to all of our expert contributors there. You can reach out to our hotline as well. And we would love to connect you with our 80-plus show partners, all the folks that can help you live a better life, avoid commission-based advice. And we don't care if you're climbing a corporate ladder, if you throw a ladder in your truck on the way to work, this show's for you. We're going to help you win. Uh, a couple of hot listings here, compliments of Platinum MVP Realty, 5105 Bay Boulevard, Port Ritchie. This is in the Martha's Vineyard subdivision, three bedrooms, three bath, over 6,200 total square feet, $560,000. Now, this is perfect for a construction type, a handyman, uh, some a contractor, uh, because a lot of the property is not fully completed. The tub needs to be put in, but it's got some gorgeous views. The infrastructure is there, and you're overlooking the beautiful Gulf of Mexico out there. You're on a waterfront. Uh, beautiful property priced at $560,000. Beautiful property out in Hillsborough County as well. This is 6601 Crinkle Avenue in Riverview, Bloomingdale uh, area of Riverview. Four bedrooms, three full bath, and it's over 3,300 square feet, and it's $325,000 just reduced. Beautiful home in Bloomingdale area, uh, Riverview. Great place to live, work, and play. Somewhere, somewhere. 
And we have our feel-good story of the week coming up about a dog that saves a family from fire. And we have our expert contributors here in studio, Matt DeMaio, Z Maestro, test-taking tactics. Check out his videos on YouTube, uh, youtube.com forward slash be smarter faster. And he's going to teach you how to skyrocket your scores and, and help you learn more about your concentration. I want to bring uh, Jason Avery into the conversation now. Avery Construction, a uh, longtime friend of the program, and he's operated a uh, remodeling business here in the Tampa Bay area for a number of years. 2011, yeah. 2011. Uh, wrote a book a couple years ago as well, Constructing Success, number one uh, best-selling book. And what are you up to now? Well, uh, again, the construction company is uh, 40 employees strong, and I built that business to work on it, not in it. Yep. So as my time is freed up, I spend more of my time these days in the business constructing success, uh, which is uh, geared as a, a consulting company to younger contractors and tradespeople. So I, you know, as hearing Matt talk, I'm thinking to myself, boy, when it comes to the test taking skills, there's lots of young men that are trying to take that general contractor's test, and, and they fail it over and over again before they actually get it right yep. uh because it, it's more than just understanding construction it's a, a lot to do with finances and insurances and really understanding the aspects of running a business yeah and uh, my focus at constructing success is taking those guys who've already passed the test mm -hmm. they've uh you know got a couple of employees and they're trying to figure out how to stop swinging the hammer mm -hmm. or how to you know stop that juggling of robbing from peter to pay paul mm -hmm. um you know they tend to always be you know chasing behind their cash flow uh they can't figure out whether they're supposed to be out selling a job or finishing that job and getting it put in the ground and uh, and so you know those are the people that I like to help at constructing success um, I've actually developed a, a program for that now it's called building your empire and building your empire is all about instilling the the belief and the confidence in people so Matt was talking about inner voices in your head and and yeah my interpretation of that is you know a lot of people those voices are telling them that you know oh I, I can't hire anybody else yet because if I do then it's gonna take away from my income and I'm not gonna be able to afford to pay my mortgage and right. and, and they talk themselves right out of the opportunity to grow mm -hmm. and they keep themselves frozen and time and 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 never get anywhere in that business and then you know when, when you remain small as a contractor you remain risky as a contractor any one job that that goes a little to the left on you can now bankrupt you and put you out of business so but isn't that a hard position to be in as a small business owner construct you know real estate insurance construction any business that you're in isn't it a difficult decision because they're looking at what they're doing is they're saying well i've got two to three months of reserves you know i could pay my mortgage for this many times so now you're but what you're saying is hey you got to take a risk to grow well you absolutely have to take a little risk and you know again it depends on how risky is this situation how much capital did you start this business with Mm -hmm. But and uh, it, a lot of it comes down to just the belief, the belief in yourself that you can actually make this happen. Right. And so that's what I try and instill in people um, and not just contractors and tradespeople, but young entrepreneurs in general. They all appeal to this program where basically we... Uh, we could reconstruct your financial statement in a method of reverse engineering it. We just simply take a look at the, the math and say, mm -hmm. you know, how much are we actually taking home right now based on what gross revenues we actually brought in the door? Then we start to analyze the time that you put into every day. How much of your time did you spend doing emails today, Brandon? Right. And um, they say, uh, you know, studies say that the average person spends about four hours a day buried in their email. Mm -hmm. And uh, how much time did you spend doing bookkeeping? You know, simple right. transactions yep. like your general ledger and, and you know writing checks yep. and uh could some of these tasks be hired out to somebody at ten dollars an hour or fifteen dollars or twenty dollars an hour yep. what is your time worth mm -hmm. you know as a as a business owner you should be valuing your time at a hundred hundred and fifty dollars an hour plus yep and so for every hour you spend doing a ten dollar task you're costing yourself one hundred and forty dollars yep. instead of making money. Absolutely. And so we have to, you know, show this math to the people and make them believe. And then we actually do a, a bit of a worksheet to size up the time and the value of that time and separate it to say, here's how much money I made being an employee to myself. Yep. versus here much how, how much I actually made as a business owner. Yeah. Now, if we could start either hiring full-time people to replace those tasks 
or maybe we can consider some outsourcing options and other business services that could fill some of the gaps for us as we free up the time now we're able to go out there and start working on the business as opposed yeah. to in the business sure so as we start to do that now we're going to again reverse engineer the financials even further we're going to decide how many additional employees will i have to employ before i can make the same business owner money that i make now and i'll while working on it instead of in it right how much additional sales will be required to feed the mouth of those additional employees mm -hmm. and then once we understand what we need we talk about how we're gonna get it you know how am I gonna find these people how am I gonna recruit them how am I going to incentivize them so they will be self starters and go out there and drive production in the ground every day for me yeah and then ultimately how am I gonna not turn these people over once I've taught them everything yes. about my trade and my business what makes them not want to leave me and go on and try and do it for themselves yeah so there's a lot of tips and tricks of the things that I've learned by building Avery construction to 40 employees strong with virtually hundred percent retention and I, I've, I've let one person go over the years because I didn't find the right person right out of the gates. And otherwise, the team has grown and grown and grown, building off the backs of where we started. Yeah. And uh, so, that's cool. So, you're so over the time, you've only let one person go? I've only let one person go in all in wow. se seven years now in business. I've let one person go and I've never had anybody leave me. That's really and, cool, uh, man. I've had, I had, I had a couple that moved out of town or just natural attrition, you know, right. family circumstances changed, but we left on, on great terms. And if they were ever to come back to the state or they were ever uh, yep. to find the need i would hire them again in a minute they'd be welcome back and they would want to come work with yeah me again. that's awesome so so let's talk about some of the hacks let's break it down for maybe some of our business owners out there we, we want them to buy the book we want them to hire you as a consultant of course uh by the way if you just joined us brandon rhymes here uh we're interviewing jason avery now avery construction so wh what are some of the hacks you know you, you say how, how do you keep how do you build an incentive based program to keep people happy that's one thing well how how do you structure your pay and uh, right. so lots of companies and uh they they pay by the hour mm -hmm. well i find that when you pay by the hour you're positioning the employee to take advantage you're right. positioning them to potentially milk the clock you're positioning them to not be as productive as they could be because well if it takes some longer hours that's actually going to be a bigger paycheck Incentivized, right yeah, and right. Uh, so the you know you set the the wheels in motion in the wrong pretense mm -hmm. and uh if you reverse that a lot of employers want to try and pay a salary well, now you've positioned the employer to take advantage and uh, where you're going to try and drive as much into that, you know, salary as you can. Oh, by the way, I'm going to need you to come in on Saturday for a little while longer. And 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 now you're demotivating that employee and mm -hmm. you're positioning them to want to consider what their other options are because mm -hmm. they're being overworked for the reward that they're getting. Yeah. So every form of employee at Avery Construction, whether they're in sales, whether they're in the field swinging a hammer, whether they're in the production management, they all have some form of an incentivized based pay. There is a, a small portion of their income that comes from a base salary to provide a sense of security, but the larger lion's share comes in the form of either a percentage of the gross sale as it's paid into us. You know, they get their money when we get our money. Draws. So there's an incentive yep. to push the cash flow forward. Yep. And uh, um, there is piecework. And uh, I, you know, you get paid X number of dollars to install the widget. And yep. it doesn't matter if it takes you one hour or three hours. Very right. similar to how the mechanics book works. You know, you might get two 2.5 hours based on the, the Chilton's, you know, definition of what it takes to change an alternator in the car. Right. And uh, if, if you take, you know, uh, three hours doing it, you still only get paid for two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. If you go buy a fancier tool that allows you to do it in an hour and a half, you still get paid for two and a half hours. Interesting. So it, you incentivize and, yeah. and position the employee to want to drive production in the ground, like to want to make it happen faster, Yeah. because ultimately there's going to be more reward for them. They're either going to, you know, be able to get the job done faster and then go take some time off and spend it with their family and enjoy yep. the money that they're making. Yep. Or maybe they're going to decide that now they can go ahead and take on project number two. And I like that. I like that idea. That at Tony Robbins, his master business mastery course, he talks about giving you a million dollars worth of value or you can ask for your money back. And, and some of these strategies that he talked about was an ESOP. I think it's an employment employer stock option program, you know, giving options to the company, giving value because then now they own part of the company. The better the company does, the, it's a win-win all the way around. That's what I like. That's what I like about it. All right, stay with us here. Consumer Quarterback Show. We're going to come right back after a short, short break. More from Matt DeMaio in the house. 
Jason Avery, as well as an adopted dog, saves a family from a fire. we got a great story here coming up. Stay with us. Hey, this is Grant Cardone, and you're listening to Consumer Quarterback Show, hosted by my friend Brandon Rhymes. Do not touch that dial. I'll come right through the radio and grab your throat. To get in touch with Brandon, call 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. Ian Beckles here. listening to the consumer quarterback brandon rhymes cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in tampa bay online at consumerqb.com all right welcome back brandon rhymes here consumer quarterback show giving a shout out to kipton's the hotel zamora on beautiful st pete beach that's our official hotel partner of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Spanish Ancestry meets cool Mediterranean attitude. Beautiful, beautiful hotel here. There's a restaurant on site. The Castile Restaurant has amazing food. And you also have the pool and hot tub. you got the rooftop lounge, 360 lounge, gorgeous views overlooking the intercoastal waterways. And it's a great place. Now, let them know the Real Estate Quarterback sent you for special discounts and incentives. You're going to get 20% off of your room stay just by mentioning the Consumer Quarterback Show. 20% off the Hotel Zamora. And they're also going to put a bottle of wine in your room and a charcuterie platter. So excellent, excellent place to stay. Go check them out. Kipton's, the Hotel Zamora on beautiful St. Pete Beach. And hot listings here from Platinum MVP Realty. And I'm your host, Brandon Brimes, owner of Platinum MVP Realty as well. 15648 North Himes Avenue in Tampa. This property is in the North Forest Village of Carrollwood. Five bedrooms, four bath, 4,300 square feet, $485,000. Pool home. And it's a gorgeous cul-de-sac home here with Italian marble floors throughout. Beautiful property down in Pinellas County, 8737 Bardmore Place, unit number 103. Uh, this is a great property in Maidstone. Two bedroom, two bath, over a thousand square feet, one hundred and ninety thousand dollars, just reduced down to one eighty nine. Beautiful property on Barbmore Place. Some hot properties there. Check out platinummvprealty.com. You can search for real estate. You can see all of the MLS there at platinummvprealty.com. You can also do a home valuation. You can do it yourself, or if you want to have us do it, we'll do it for you. Eight one three six seven zero seven three seven two. 813-670-7372. Matt DeMaio in the house. Z Maestro. Test taking tactics. Check him out on YouTube. Be smarter, faster. And also Jason Avery in the house, author of Constructing Success. And he uh, runs a, a construction business here in Tampa Bay. So, Jay, I wanted to talk to you again a little bit about, you know, pre-construction. You know, you see construction stuff going on. I was over at our house uh, yesterday with Jay Smith taking a look around. You know, a lot of moving parts, man, especially when you have, you know, two by fours, two by sixes, all the different materials floating around, hundreds of thousands of nails. Uh, you, you got a lot of materials. We're looking at some of the, you know, the final things before sheetrock goes on. And, uh, you know, kind of compare and contrast the wood stick built home to the property I mentioned before, the listing I have in, in St. Pete, uh, 215 12th Avenue. That's a SIPS panel housing construction. So these are prefabbed, got the foam board in the middle uh -huh. with something like a 
uh, hardy board on each side, really firm construction, and they bring them in in panels and just pop them up on an aluminum framing, I guess. Yeah, it's it's you know becoming uh, more well known out there. Mm -hmm. um, there are obviously uh, some advantages to constructing that way. It is sort of an easier assembly, uh, you know, a bit like an erector set, but a lot mm -hmm. more prefabricated. Um, it's also though new to contractors. There's not a whole lot of contractors doing it because it takes a little more creativity when it comes down to some of the finishes and how you attach those finishes to these type of panels. Yep. Um, it's it's created a few question marks within the, the building department, of course, with inspectors trying to learn how to inspect something new. Mm. What are they actually checking for? And, uh, and uh, uh, so, uh, you know, it, everything's supply and demand. And uh, as they become more popular, I think the costs will come down. But I don't see a whole lot of people building with the products yet as, you know. Uh, Why do you think that it, they just don't know about it? They, it, do, it they get, don't want to pay the extra money because it costs a little more, right? Exactly. It, it costs a little bit more. And when it comes down to the almighty buck and uh, people decide, hmm, do I want to spend it on the construction of the walls or whatever to have the nicer cabinets in the kitchen that I'm yeah. going to look at every day? Yeah. And uh, uh, usually the interior finishes uh, win that that battle. Yeah. Um, so, uh, it Again, I think that it's a, a growing concept, and I think it's got a lot of uh, a lot of merit, and it's going to definitely uh, mm -hmm. uh, pick up. And the more that it picks up, the more volume that goes out the door, the more that cost will come down, and it'll become more reasonable. Yeah. So uh, you know, if we, if we look at simple things like countertops, in uh, ten years ago, everybody was about Corian and uh, Corian and Staron, these uh, you know acrylic style, soft surface, you know, uh, but solid countertops that didn't have the seams like the days of Formica and uh, they were super popular and now kind of like the beta unit got replaced by the VCR and uh, it, it's they're, they're gone and like the VCR didn't get replaced by CD which then went to DVD you know granite's taken over that industry now quartz is coming in and starting to take over that industry uh, there's always going to be something better and uh, yeah. sit panels and is definitely goes, up, up in there it goes from dark you know oh the dark cherry wood cabinets now it's all white and light you know they yep. want it lighter and the interior oh painted cabinets are back you know they're, they're yeah. sort of timeless and, uh, on, a, on a remodel that's a great way to go if you're doing a flip you just paint what's there exactly paint them uh let's go ahead and jump into our positivity segment we're going to inject some positivity into your life Tell me good. so without chrome there would be no us today adopted dog saves family from fire so four months ago after they rescued him he rescued them uh the smith family adopted chrome from the bass drop all right, I got a Brandon's choked up over there. So, uh, yeah, <coughs> feel good story. Four months after they rescued him, he rescued them. The Smith family <coughs> adopted Chrome from the Bastrop County Animal Shelter in Bastrop, Texas, last November. On March 4th, it was Chrome who alerted them to a fire in their home and got them out of bed in time to escape safely. Laura Smith said she was sleeping in her home with her two young sons that night. She thought Chrome woke her up around 1 a.m. because he needed to go to the bathroom he stayed with me until i realized the house was on fire and then took off down our hallway to get the boys and help the boys get out uh, to safety smith told uh kxan without chrome i think there would be no us today the family lost their entire home in the fire while smith and her family stay in local housing provided by a local church the bastrop county animal shelter has also pitched in and raised a thousand dollars to help smith <clears throat> get back on her feet Anna Watson, a full-time volunteer at BCAS, said after Smith sent the shelter a message explaining what happened, they started talking about how to lend a hand. I let the shelter volunteers know that uh, what had happened with Chrome and that he was a hero, and we were all texting back feverishly and saying, oh my God, we got to help them, recalled Watson. Smith said she never set out to bring home a dog that day but as soon as she saw chrome for the first time she knew she needed to take him home smith spotted him from across the way and was crying and said this is my dog and we were crying watson said when people ask smith that uh what they can do to help out her family she tells them to adopt and support their local animal shelter yeah that's a that's good story great we've had story. we've had some stories like that on the show man just the dogs can sense it they smell it and then boom so thanks for filling it in for me there. No problem. <laughs> Something got my throat. <laughs> but, emotional story. Yeah, it was emotional. It choked me up. It choked me up. All right, let's jump into our lightning round. The lightning round. I am so good at lightning rounds. I majored in lightning rounds. 
All right, so our lightning round is a little different. It's top tips, nuggets of advice, parting words of wisdom. Matt DeMaio. You know, I want to give credit to Jason for a couple of things that he said in this section. Real fast. He talked about the idea of reverse engineering. Yeah. So important. That's how I came to develop all of my uh, Be Smarter, Faster materials, interviewing literally thousands of students after my seminars and finding out what tricks and tips and techniques and strategies they used. Mm -hmm. I simply combined them all together rather than relying on a single source. Mm -hmm. He also used a really great idea called how, not why or when. He talked about the idea of how, and when mm -hmm. you start asking yourself questions about how am I going to do this, all uh, all of your productivity increases, whether you're a yeah. student or in the construction business. Yeah. So um, one last thing, um, those of you that are uh, uh, fans of music, uh, if you want, I'm, I'm going to give my daughter's band one more quick plug. Tomorrow's News, the website is Tomorrow's News dot band not dot com but dot band yeah they've got video audio lots of cool pictures and so i'm sure my daughter will appreciate daddy giving her a plug here yeah yeah that's awesome <laughs> and what, what you talk about there is the questions the quality of questions that we ask ourselves you know the process of thinking is simply asking ourselves questions you know and if you don't believe me just try to prove it wrong you know, right now, what are you thinking? Well, is that a question or is that not? Right? <laughs> is he is he right or is he wrong? Amen. You know, Good you know stuff. what I mean. So it's it's asking yourself questions over and over, and the quality of questions that you ask instead of why did this happen to me? Why can't I get this? And and so so Jason, let's go ahead and finish with your last tip. Sure. You uh, you had brought up early in the, in the conversation today about uh, labor, and uh, and so yeah, while materials are vast and options are vast, labor in this construction world has definitely been thinning out. And uh, for every you know uh, one yeah. guy that's coming into the business trying to get that contractor license, there's five older guys retiring. Mm. So that's the idea behind constructing success is we're trying to prepare the labor of the future. We're trying mm -hmm. to teach them how to be successful in this industry so they don't leave our industry and go elsewhere. If anybody wants to um, participate in the Building Your Empire program, uh, the next session will be coming up on July 18th. That's a Wednesday, July 18th. It's a four-hour program from 12.30 to 4.30 p.m., and it's going to take place at Logo HQ, which is uh, a large showroom in North St. Petersburg uh, around uh, Roosevelt and I-275. The cost of the program is $297.00. Four hours of brilliant content. It was co-authored by myself and uh, Rob Kellogg, the owner of Brewing Up Business. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the two of us will be co-presenting that day and definitely um, want to instill the belief in people. Get out of your own head. Get out of your own way. Make yeah. it happen. Yeah, get in your head. You're dead. Matt DeMaio, awesome job. Z Maestro, thanks oh, so thank much. You. Jason Avery as well. Always uh, excellent content there as well. We want you to please go out there and consider committing a random act of kindness. Pack up some food, some clothing. Hand it to that person that you see in need. Be a force for good in the community. Do something kind for one another. And we'll see you next time. Follow us on Facebook, Brandon Rhymes PA, at Brandon Rhymes one on Twitter and Instagram. And, of course, the Consumer Quarterback Show pages as well. We'll see you next time. You've been listening to The Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. Whether it's real estate, consumer, or financial advice, let Brandon call your next play. Contact Brandon Rhymes at 813-670-7372. That's 813-670-7372. Online at ConsumerQB.com. And join us next time for the Consumer Quarterback Show, weekday afternoons at 5 on AM 1380. The Biz.